gay people being allowed to get married was a very big loss for the right. They, the, you know, the gays took a lot of ground in regards to their civil rights with that. So their pushback here is going to be strong and it is going to be very prolonged. Tell me that this isn't fucking based. This is some based ass shit right here. Air Force offers to help military families hurt by state's new anti-LGBTQ laws. God damn. In an unusual move, the U.S. military service is offering medical and legal aid to affected personnel, or a way to leave those states entirely. Fucking based. We're going to read this article, though I can't show it on screen because a lot of the ads popping up for some reason are... They're not TOS, but they're a little bit... It's like a razor ad, and the ad is like demonstrating uh, some shaving areas that I don't know if Twitch or YouTube would be a fan of monetization wise. So we're just going to keep my my uh, lovely mug on screen for you guys. In an incredibly unusual move, the Air Force is making a point to let its hundreds of thousands of personnel know that it will provide families with medical and legal help if they are personally affected by new state laws attacking gay and transgender children. And if those state uh, service members feel they need to leave those states entirely for the sake of their kids' mental or physical health, the Air Force will help them to do to do that too. The Air Force is the only branch of the US military doing this. Its leaders informed personnel late last month, both internally and in a press release, that they have several resources available to them if they need help navigating anti-LGBTQ laws, that, uh, state laws that, they, that, mi that may be hurting their families. Specifically, Air Force leadership is telling service members that military medical facilities are available to provide mental health support to them or their children if they need it in the wake of new laws in states like Florida, where schools are banned from talking about gender identity or sexual orientation, or Texas, where the governor is ordering state officials to investigate parents of transgender children for child abuse. They're also telling service members that military legal personnel are available to provide free counsel to families trying to understand their legal protections in states targeting gay and transgender kids. The largest Air Force base in the world happens to be in Florida, too. England, Eglin Air Force Base. Um... Yeah, I, I always thought of, because uh, I'm from Florida, and whenever I think of Air Force Base, I always thought McDill, but apparently the biggest Air Force Base is Eglin in Florida, which is surprising to me, because I never, ever would hear people talk about Eglin, uh, or Eglin. I don't know how it's pronounced exactly. I've heard it pronounced Eglin and Eglin, so I don't know. Um, the health, care, and resilience of our Air Force personnel and their families is not just our top priority, it's essential to our ability to accomplish the mission, Air Force Under Secret Secretary uh, Gina Ortiz-Jones said in a statement. We are closely tracking state laws and legislation to ensure we prepare for, an, uh, prepare for and mitigate effects to our airmen, guardians, and their families. Medical legal resources and various assistance are available, are available for those who need them. Air Force leadership is also telling personnel that they can lean on an existing program, the Exceptional Family Member Program, if they need to be reassigned to a different state with a safer environment for family of, or LGBTQ children. This kind of uh, transfer could apply, for example, to an Air Force member who is stationed in Texas and raising a transgender child who needs gender-affirming treatment like hormone therapy. As in the case with all of our family members, if the support of a family member needs uh, if a, the support if the support of a family member needs becomes unavailable, commanders can work to get the service member to an assignment where they, their loved ones can receive the care they need, Jones said. It's a surprisingly bold move by Air Force Brat. Air Force Brass, despite the fact that it hasn't gotten much press attention beyond uh, federal news net behind beyond federal news network flagging it late last month, as part of the federal government, the Air Force is prohibited from weighing in on state laws. But it's clear that its leadership is concerned that the recent wave of anti-LGBTQ laws and directives could be hurting the health and well-being of Air Force families based in those areas. The Department of Air Force is of the Air Force is putting practical policy and compassion behind a matter of great concern to the administration. Family readiness is key to combat to combat readiness. Retired Lieutenant General Bruce Wright, president of the Air Force and uh, Forces Association, told HuffPost in a statement, taking care of all airmen, guardians, and their families, whatever their challenges, is a core leadership principle and the 
and the department is demonstrating real and practical commitment here. The Air Force's actions come as Republicans have settled on a political strategy of attacking, of attacking gay and transgender kids ahead of the 2022 midterm elections. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and Texas Governor Greg Abbott have been in the forefront of this ugly push. Both are likely 2024 presidential contenders, but they're not the only Republican leaders racing to pass laws making life even more difficult for LGBTQ youth specifically. At least a dozen state laws are now considering bills mirroring Florida's law, dubbed by critics as don't as its don't say gay law, Oklahoma, Arizona, Iowa, and Utah this year passed laws banning transgender kids from participating in sports, consistent with their gender identity. Not to be outdone by Alabama Governor Kay Ivey on Friday, signed, who signed a law making it a felony with penalties up to 10 years in prison for parents and doctors to provide gender-affirming care like hormone treatments to transgender minors. Ivey also signed a law barring transgender children from using school bathrooms and locker rooms that match their gender identity, and a law limiting classroom discussions on gender and sexual orientation. These discriminatory, poli discriminatory policies, bills, and laws are causing real harm and distress to LGBTQ plus families said human rights campaign spokes spokesperson Delphine Lanyu. Like any good employer, the Air Force is taking steps to support their service members and their families. Lanyu said, We hope service members and their family members are being affected by the we hope service members and their family members who are being affected by the wave of discriminatory, discriminatory legislation and many state legislatures will take advantage of the supportive services that the Air Force is offering. And HRC will continue walking toward the repeal working toward the repeal of these terrible laws. Most schools that operate on Air Force installations are part of school of local school districts, meaning they are governed by state laws, not federal laws. But other Air Force uh, child and youth programs like after school sports teams are not regulated by uh, state authorities. Air Force leaders have yet to receive any requests for legal assistance from personnel personnel relating to the effects of these anti LGBTQ laws, said Air Force spokesperson Laurel Tingley. They also don't know if there's been an uptick in the use of mental health services because they don't track it. For now, the Air Force's focus is simply on letting personnel know that their employer has their backs if they need it, she said. The Air Force is being proactive about making sure their airmen, guardians, and their families are aware of the help that's available as they explore their options, Tingley said. Fucking based of the Air Force to do this. Now, it's uh, not exactly like a controversial take, nor a wrong one, to say that the Republicans are now currently making the biggest push against the LGBT community they've made in a very long time. Um, gay people being allowed to get married was a very big loss for the right. They, the, you know, the gays took a lot of ground in regards to their civil rights with that. So their pushback here is going to be strong, and it is going to be very prolonged. Um, we're going to continue to see more uh, states continue to pass laws like this, and it will be done on a state level. The right has always had the benefit of the state level. Going back to how conservatives in America would try to preserve slavery during the so like during that age of our history, um, it was always about states' rights. That was always the excuse they used. They always tried to use the um, uh, uh, the the abilities and the privileges that states have to make their own local laws. Um, they've always tried to use that with their leadership to make their states into havens of bigotry and hatred towards marginalized groups. Going as far back to slavery, all the way up to now with LGBT people. Now, what the Air Force is essentially doing here is uh, cutting through all of the political culture war, culture war bullshit and making a definitive statement that these laws are unconstitutional, that they are impeding on the rights and freedom of American citizens, and that they will not allow their service members to be the victims of these discriminatory laws. In a very similar way to if some new segre segregation law segregating different races came out, that the if the Air Force had come out and said, we will not stand for this, this is, un this is not... It does not align with what America stands for. We will not allow our um, uh, uh, servicemen to have to live in a state in which policies have been specifically made to target them in a negative way based on their um, identity and, and immutable characteristics they were born with. Very, um, very dope. Love to see the... Um the, uh, uh, the Air Force come out and uh, make this statement. Now, the Air Force does not track, apparently, whether or not there's been an uptick or anything in the use of mental health services provided by them uh, for LGBT, uh, uh, you know, airmen and their family members. They don't actually track it, so we won't know what effect it really has, but it's good that it's there, and it's good there's been a public statement made that it's there as an option, right?
Pretty dope, pretty based. This is also a great sign in regard to the military stance on current Republicans. It also is a good sign in regards to, like, precedent, right? It's got to set a good precedent for future lawsuits and whatnot, because no doubt the state of Florida, the state of Arizona, the state of Utah, all these states and, and Texas, all these states are going to be sued for their unconstitutional like laws they're passing. Um, it's happened before, and there being legal precedent set in the past is always a very, very good thing to go off of when you're when you're trying to do something like that. So the United States Air Force outright stating these laws are discriminatory and unconstitutional, essentially, or at the very least implying it, and I'm sure they'd be willing to come out and outright say it, that's got to have a, you know, at least some positive effect in that respect. In the event of another attempted coup, the rhydoids might be fucked. No coup is, is, is successful without the military. Well... Anything could change before now and then, right? Military leadership changing before a coup isn't exactly unheard of. Now is it? I don't know. There's not much else to say about it other than it's fucking based and it's setting a good precedent. Um, mostly, I just hope that a lot of you learn about the, uh, the story and hopefully uh, it's a little bit of hopium for you guys. Hopefully a little bit of hopium in this dark sea of... Uh, of Republicans no doubt going to sweep the midterms and uh, all of the policies against LGBT, specifically youth, that they're going to be passing uh, in the coming future. With all that said, if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe, and ring the bell icon if you haven't already. Liking the stream or the video helps out more than even realize, as YouTube really does value uh, you know, community engagement more than anything else nowadays. Uh, if you want to support me financially, you can donate, subscribe, gift a sub over on my website, xanderhall.com forward slash live, or support me through YouTube, Twitch, Streamlabs, or Stream Elements as well as through Patreon, and you can also follow me online through my social medias linked down below, including my Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Fan Discord, and of course, uh, I think I also have a um, Twitter. Yeah. Thank you all so much for watching, regardless of how you support me. I really do appreciate it, and have a good one.